a, a much smaller hack this time, although not too small. Super Mario Ocean by Yogi. And it's a hack in the French language, according to this. It says Francais down there. Might as well watch this intro while I'm at it. Probably did some interesting work on it. Let's admit, it's kind of freaky to watch Mario in his diagonal position. And before he gets the halfway point, it ends there. Not the best with French, but... Uh, we do know that Bowser has captured Peach once again. And Mario's in an unfamiliar ocean. Abandoned house. Yep, there's no one there. You bossu. All we do know is that they do have some interesting names, given that they're in French anyway. Still interesting to hear them. Hey. There must be some kind of factor regarding pronouncing words in French. And then again, this is of course one that's meant to fit in, and it does fit in really well. Rom hacks in general. There's a halfway point right there. The only difference between this and other hacks of similar quality, just we don't know what language they might be in. In this case, it was French. I've seen many in Japanese. I've even seen, uh, I even saw one in Spanish in the SMW Central Winter Contest. I think it was Spanish. I know it was not French because because of the use of some of the terms there. Now, I get the feeling most of this hack will be safe to do save stateless, but not all of it. This hack also does have a lot of pipes on the overworld. There's a magic ocean right there. Somewhere we're bound to find a key in a keyhole. Probably not together, though. Hmm. Is it telling us to go up when we're already up? I don't know. I'm probably just skipping the level right now, but... I'm not breaking it, at least. Well, I can't stay up anymore. Gotta go down here. Okay. Pipe. That's going to have anything to do with the secret exit? Probably not. Seems to have been borrowed from... Yeah, from Donut Secret 1, except for the auto-scroll. There are also some rather annoying secrets in this hack. Hmm. I, if I remember, there's even one level where you need to figure out which pipe to enter, and the time limit will not reset. Making it tr truly an annoyance. Okay, there's bound to be a key somewhere. Nope, not there. Maybe there was a blue pipe that I missed. Ooh. Okay. Well, at least since it's an auto-scroll, don't have to worry about the fish respawning. Hmm. Now we're in a cave. Oh. Never mind. Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess for the secret exit, I'm gonna want to stay down. And another red level. Il Teba. But returning to the Ocean Magitik. It's probably down here. There's the keyhole. There's gonna be a question mark block with a key somewhere. I'm willing to think so. There's the key right here. Now to make it out alive. And there's even ground below the keyhole. This unlocks a pipe. We'll see what's in here. Another red level. ETO 1. Or un. Mm, or un. Mm, however you wish to pronounce it in this case. This is probably the secret exit. Just like in TSRP and TSRPR, in that Iceberg 1, I think they, yeah, they put the key somewhere just after the beginning, and they put the keyhole behind the beginning. What now? Yeah. Probably have a normal exit to find, though. Okay, I'm probably gonna want a cape. Okay. Careful. Does that look careful to you? I don't think so. <laughs> this might, though. At least the levels are relatively short. Yeah. I think I'll only need one. So I'm gonna continue on. And what do you know? That pipe does not shrink. Thankfully, neither does that one. I'm going up here. Hmm. Now I think we gotta go in here. It's just a guess. But now it's more auto-scroll. And a double-ended pipe with a double-ended piranha plant. And I managed to kill both of them. How do they reside? Hey. Well. Obviously there's some kind of, uh, Some kind of GFX applied to this in order for those other piranha plants to actually come up with a stem. I'll just wait to find the end, I guess. And another door. Okay. Goal. There's probably going to be a Switch Palace somewhere, too. Hmm. Something tells me this hack is riddled with red levels. Iltuyo 2, do. Kind of reminds me of Tubular right now. Yep, there's another cape, but I'm not going to worry about that. I am going to worry where I land, though. Like that. Now that was a safer landing, and I still want, and I still feel like checking every pipe. Hmm. Getting back up will not be easy, will it? Yep. 
Yeah. You gotta be careful with those. And how should I land here? Probably just like that. I figured there'd be something suspicious about that pipe. And thankfully no auto-scroll here. <clears throat> I'm going up above it. But not here, because there's no room. Hmm. Now what? This takes me out here somewhere. I think. Guess that was not the secret exit. Not even close to it yet, I suppose. Hmm. What now? Hmm. So, you go left here. No need to worry, because we're going with the current. Am I just flying over everything now? Well, if there was a halfway point, I'm pretty sure I missed it. Almost opened the mouth button, too. <laughs> Up here we go. Hmm. Let's just check this. Aha! So there is something over here. <coughs> yep. Go ahead and pause. And with this. The normal exit. <clears throat> this hack is riddled with red levels, isn't it? Nothing to the left, though. In the case of this level. And I'm probably gonna want two capes for, for my safety. Yep. Rocky Isle. Or maybe aisles in this case. So many floating rocks. A lot of them. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Whew. Now what? When you're in the air like this. You really don't know when to land. Or even where to land, I suppose. Halfway point right there. We can run up to this, apparently. That didn't help at all. Huh. Green block. Guess it was supposed to be a permanent feather or something. <laughs> Since I haven't pressed any green switch palace yet, that would make sense. Another save? Nope. Secrets, I guess, are not too hard in this hack. Except for one. One is definitely a puzzle. Might have, take, might have taken me a really long while to figure out. Ooh, and some 3D now. Let's check something over here. Nope. Really cool 3D. Ah, 
Aha! Uh -huh, once again. Wait a minute. There's something suspicious about this. Okay. Yeah, I'm already breaking the save stateless in the first video. I... Yeah. If I die in a way like this, though, I'll consider it a legit death. Go ahead and try this again now. Only this time... I won't screw myself out of this. Maybe with this cape... No, I can't give myself a bit of an advantage, unfortunately. Still something I could do, though. Uh huh. Still more level, I guess. <sighs> Saws come to the left. Saws coming from the right. Saws of insanity. Note that I did start this from the halfway point, so I could have run out of time if... if I was doing it from the beginning. Ah. Trouble. Never mind what I said, because the time goes from 317, and now it's down to 120 seconds. So the time apparently does reset. Well, there goes that saw. Just gonna scroll this way. See if I can make it any, any easier. Even a little bit easier is beneficial. a little stupider is not. <sighs> and I do not want to make the platform disappear. I do not want to go too fast. Might as well duck here since I think I'm going to be safe. Definitely not safe for that one. As you just saw. Speaking of saw. Seems as though I shouldn't have even tried... Hey, tried getting a feather. But maybe that's just me. Okay, now I'm safe. I believe. Goal right here. Okay. Meaning another normal exit to get. Before the iceberg, of course. Okay, back here. Apparently I found out you could actually fly over the level to break it. Not having to go through the clouds in the middle. Middle after the halfway point. And whatever. Okay, so next time, I'll figure out where to go. 